Ready for a box launch? Nancy Giles certainly is. Oh, Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels. Do, 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 do. Open up a lunchbox and you'll find it's full of childhood memories. Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo. Oh my gosh. Oh, the Harlem Globetrotters, cool. This one, I think, I had when I was a kid. Alan oh, Woodall Scooby. is the founder yeah. of the Lunchbox Museum, a time capsule in Columbus, Georgia. Let's see, here we go. Little dust. Yeah. Used to be a peanut butter and banana in there. <laughs> I know, you can, well, <laughs> you can still smell it. Alan has around a thousand lunch boxes in different shapes and sizes, including Mickey Mouse, the first popular character to appear on a lunch box. Look at the scenes around the box. The year was 1935. It's beautiful. Great graphics. But it wasn't until the 50s that the idea really took off. That's when savvy advertisers latched on to the potential. They started putting all the characters that were on television on lunch boxes, saying, what a great marketing tool. The kids didn't even realize that they were, like, no, helping sell no, these that's shows. That's right. Shows like The Addams Family, Welcome Back, Cotter, and Laugh-In. There's Dan Rowan and Dick Martin and Henry Gibson and uh, oh. Artie Johnson and Ruth Buzzy. Look at this box right back here. For so Alan, the, the back, best part right? of his day that is reuniting museum goers like Bert Rooks. You said marble coins. That's it. With that lunch boxes well. like the ones they had as kids. I had a thermos with mine, but it looks smaller now that I'm older. <laughs> you know? How does that make you feel holding it? I don't know. It takes me back. It takes me back. Yeah. It really does. In 1985, Rambo marked the end of the metal lunchbox era. You know why that was the last metal lunchbox? Why? Because a group of moms down in Florida back in the early 80s said, hey, these lunchboxes, metal boxes, are dangerous weapons. The kids are fighting with them, so we want to get them out. And it didn't help that plastic was a lot cheaper to manufacture, which got us thinking. What's the appetite for lunchboxes these days? What kind of lunchbox have you got? Let me see who's on the front. I decided to go out to lunch at my old stomping ground, formerly PS30, now PS354 in Queens. What made me get this? Well, when I was your age, we didn't have soft lunchboxes. This is what we got. Now, do any of you guys know who this is? That's it! Maybe one day, these kids will be looking for their childhood memories at the Lunchbox Museum. Oh, season one, Partridge Family. Come on down and be everybody, be everybody. <laughs>